Dogs are seen as man's best friend and are probably some of the most loved animals ever. Some of them even have saved lives by being guard dogs or service dogs. Even some hospitals have dogs for therapeutic reasons. But not all dogs are this way. Some breeds are just way too aggressive for their own good. Because of how aggressive some of these dogs can be, they've even been banned in many countries and states. In this video, we're gonna look at 10 of the most illegal dog breeds in action. Number 10. Pit Bulls when you think of pit bulls, the very first thing that comes to mind is how aggressive they are. This shouldn't really come as a surprise when you consider that these dogs were bred specifically for hunting and as fighting dogs. Pit bulls were likely never meant to be pets at all. They're responsible for 284 deaths, which are nearly two-thirds of all the fatal dog attacks in America. It's even crazier when you take into account that only 6% of dogs in the US are pit bulls. Yet, they've already done so much damage. This video is a huge reason why you should probably never keep a pit bull as a pet. Even though this woman is probably this pit bull's owner, it almost attacked her. If she hadn't calmed it down last second, she probably would have been ripped to shreds. Number 9. German Shepherd German Shepherds don't seem like the kind of dogs that would randomly attack someone on the street, but it's actually more common than you think. Without proper training, German Shepherds can be very dangerous, especially due to their build. Because of how powerful and intelligent German Shepherds are, they've been used by the military and police forces for years. They've been bred into working dogs for generations at this point. But that comes with its own problems that not only put the dog's life at risk, but every living being around it. The German Shepherd in this video would have probably attacked the cameraman if it wasn't for the leash. However, the only silver lining for German Shepherds is that they're very easy to train. If you train them just right, they can be great to keep around. But if you train them wrong, there will be consequences. Number 8. Wolf Dog Wolf dogs are a hybrid between regular dogs and wolves, which is why they're banned in a lot of states all over the US. Even research shows that no amount of training can make these wolf hybrids safe to keep as pets. While there might be some nice ones out there, the higher percentage of wolf dogs are usually very dangerous and prone to attack humans unprovoked. It's illegal to keep a wolf dog as a pet in most states, but even in the ones where you can, you still need a permit or mandatory registration. In this video, you can see just how big the wolf dog is compared to all the other dogs. Not only that, but it was able to scare a German Shepherd, which is also considered a very aggressive dog breed. Number 7. Sarplaninac Dog Sarplaninac dogs are the perfect dogs for herding and can easily control farm animals like sheep or pigs. One thing that really stands out about these dogs is their size. They're around the size of an average human man, but can be even bigger. They're so big and strong that they can even take on a bear. In this video, you can see just how scary the dog is. When the man approaches it near the cage, it immediately starts getting aggressive. The man could barely even move near the dog without flinching away every second even though it was caged. When these dogs stand up on their hind legs, they look like literal beasts. In this video, this man could barely control the dog without pulling. While these dogs are pretty aggressive and illegal in many countries, they can be trained to not be this way. Number 6. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies first became popular after the famous TV show, Game of Thrones. A lot of people just got these Huskies without any research and kept them in poor environments, which in turn cause a lot of temperament issues. They can also get pretty aggressive if they're never given any sort of training or anything. It shouldn't be that surprising that dogs that look like wild animals also behave a little like them too. Their survival instincts are the thing that gets them into trouble. They can get very unpredictable despite being unprovoked. While these dogs are pretty friendly, most of the time, they're known to attack children and some adults even if they have no history of aggression. The husky in this video looked like it was being friendly only to attack the man out of nowhere. This is why it's important to always keep your dog on a leash and not let them wander off on their own. Number 5. American Staffordshire Terrier the American Staffordshire Terrier is known for their bite endurances. This dog can literally hang on to anything if it bites onto it. Not only that, but this dog can also jump very high. Around 11 and a half feet, 
and climb pretty well too. The American Staffordshire Terriers were originally just bulldogs that were crossbred to make a new ferocious breed. People used them in blood sports, herding, and hunting but they were mostly used for dogfighting. Because of their history, these dogs can be very strong-willed and also show aggressive behavior towards humans as well as animals. And because of their insane bite endurance, they could seriously injure their victims. Because of these reasons, the dog breed is illegal in most countries all over the world. Number 4. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiff is a dog breed that people usually get so they can protect their homes and family. This is because of their extremely large size. They're around 3 feet and weigh anywhere from 130 to 150 pounds. The main issue with these dogs is that they don't really like new people or any outsiders, which is why you need to train their behavior as they get older, or else you could face some serious problems in the future. In this video, you can see how the dog just wants to attack the person that's walking near them, even though they've done nothing to provoke it. While bull mastiff attacks are pretty infrequent, when they do happen, the damage can be very severe. Other than their aggression towards outsiders, bull mastiffs are a pretty friendly dog breed, but getting them is illegal in many states because of their large size. A lot of people just assume that if a dog is larger, then it automatically means it must be aggressive, which isn't true. Number 3. Rottweiler before Pitbulls became the most aggressive dogs ever, people used to consider the Rottweiler the most dangerous dog breed. These dogs have a tendency to get aggressive out of nowhere, especially towards those who aren't their family. Their problems come from irresponsible breeding. They actually got a bad name when people started to mass breed them. A lot of people don't do enough research and get a Rottweiler as a protection dog, then train it to become aggressive by accident. Rottweilers aren't like your normal dog breed. They need to be properly trained, which a lot of people can't do. When you get a Rottweiler puppy, you need to start their training right away, so they're not aggressive when they get older. Take a look at this Rottweiler who's extremely aggressive just because a human is near it. When the person tried to grab the bone, it started barking and growling even more. Number 2. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinscher is the most common police or guard dogs you'll see around. This dog breed is great at the guarding job, but has a reputation for being aggressive. The Doberman is very territorial, and if someone they don't really know comes into the mix, they can get a little angry. So, stay away from these dogs unless you really want to make them angry. The word pincher is actually a German word that refers to the dog's habit of biting and attacking their prey. They're actually yet another dog breed that was bred for generations just to become the perfect attack dogs. This Doberman being trained not to be aggressive shows you how wrong things can go if you just train your dog incorrectly. Number 1. Akita Akitas are banned in many cities all over the United States because of their reputation for being aggressive. Other states and cities that don't ban them require you to have a permit just so you can keep them at your house. In some public areas, you need to muzzle Akitas as well. The Akita in this video was not happy to see that dog and even started growling and barking at it. While they can be aggressive, Akitas can be great companions as long as they're trained correctly. Alright, which of these dog breeds do you think is the most aggressive? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Trend Joint, and we'll see you in the next one.